Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Astrid. I do travel and fashion videos every week. And this week I'm coming at you with the new uh, travel videos and it's related to my current travel. Uh, right now I'm living in Finland for this semester. A lot of you have been requesting a video about um, the lack of sunlight or the short days and the cold and how we deal with this. So that's what I'm doing for you today. So before we get into the video, if you like travel fashion, feel free to subscribe because that's what I do. And let go. So um, first of all, I so basically here, like winter is definitely here. Uh, winter in Finland and Scandinavia generally uh, starts a lot earlier than it does in the rest of. The world, I guess, um, <laughs> which makes sense, just because, it's, which is normal since it's so up north. But like, when we came here, a lot of people were like, "Hey, be prepared for the winter. It's gonna be a lot tougher than what you're used to. Um, there's a lot of side effects to winter here that you have to like be, be prepared to face, and so on and so forth." And we didn't really take notice of that simply because we didn't really understand what the effect of this kind of thing could really have. So. Winter in Finland. What happened to me basically is that uh, a few weeks ago the temperatures started hitting the minus degrees and the days got like significant, significantly shorter. Um, and I didn't really think it would have any you know, influence on me or anything but like for a couple of days I was feeling like super down. Like, I had no energy whatsoever. I was like kind of always feeling sleepy, like you're always kind of like in sort of a gaze, like it's kind of super, super strange. You have no energy, like, like it just feels like you're kind of like having the beginning of a flu constantly. And I just didn't know what was up with that. And also on top of that, I like to go walking an hour a day just to, you know, air the brain and keep healthy and everything. So, and every time I would come back from my walking, like, I would feel super sick, like I had nausea, and I was, like, feeling really, really weak and everything, and I just didn't know what was going on, and I just thought I had the beginning of flu, but then this beginning of flu lasted for days, and <laughs> I was, just didn't know what was going on. So, I talked about it to one of my friends here, who's my tutee, and she's my tutor, and she's a person who's supposed to help me, you know, um, adapt to Finland, and... So I was like, hey, I have that going on. Do you know if there's like any virus or anything going on at uni? And she's like, no, no, it's not that. Just go and see the doctor and he'll tell you what it is. And basically what happens is that there's three factors that affect you in like a real proper northern winter. Is first of all, there's very little daylight. Like the day, like the sun doesn't fully rise in the sun. Like it's always going up or down. At some point in the year, the sun never rises fully, like it's always kind of like in the sunset slash sunrise mode. So because there's never full like light, because the day never properly rises, your body is constantly in a snooze mode and it doesn't really ever wake up properly. And so that's uh, because because of that, it never really starts, which is one of the reasons why you always feel sleepy is because your body is literally always in snooze mode. Other thing is, we get hardly any vitamin D here, like really, really very little. And so that's one of the reasons why you feel so weak is that your body is severely lacking vitamin D. And because of that, it's lacking a source of energy. And this is another reason why you feel like sort of, you know, sleepy and energyless. <laughs> and third thing is, the cold here is like, it's not kidding. It's it's serious, serious cold. So as I said, the temperatures are really low and the problem that the body is facing is that you're running low on energy and then you're putting your body in a situation where it has to face really, really low temperatures and that all together just makes it sick because like there's not enough energy to face the problem so the body gets really, you know, cranky, <laughs> I guess. And that's exactly what I had. I was just feeling down all the time and as I said, I was really, I was feeling like physically sick every time I would come back from like walking outside and stuff so basically how you face that so first of, for the light problem first of all you have to keep your lights on and it's not like great for energy saving but like because I felt so bad what I would come when I would come back home I would like put cozy light on like not 
I would co put like only little lights in my apartment, like keep it cozy just to make me feel like, you know, better. If you're feeling weak, so you put yourself in a cozy situation and then you feel better. That's not what you should do. What you should do is come home and just switch all the lights up, uh, all the lights on, because uh, it's just tricking your body into understanding that it's the day now and it's time to get going. Other things that we have here at university, we have places that stay open 24-7, like the library or some um, areas, like the cafeteria and everything. And these places have uh, sort of artificial sunlight lamps that are like really, really super bright lamps that you can sit in front of for like 15 to 20 minutes. And like that, it kind of wakes your body up and tells them like, time to get going. So for us, um, we, can we can have access to these lamps in like, as I said, Places that are open 24-7, like the library and so on and so forth. Regarding vitamin D, the only thing that you can do is vitamin D pills. And at the beginning, I thought it was bollocks. I really didn't believe in this kind of thing, but it actually works. And it's really, really useful. If you're a foreigner thinking like, oh, I'm going to go to Finland, but I don't need this kind of thing. You really do. You're like, you're absolutely going to need these things. And also here, because most people lack vitamin D, the... Um, Manufacturers put vitamin D in the milk because a lot of people he drink milk here. So if you're not too much into uh, taking pills, then drink a lot of milk and you'll get your vitamin D income, I guess. Well, I, um, I personally do like both because I really want, I'm a very active person, so I really want to get going. And third thing is energy, like to save your energy and not be like victim of the cold or like not to have to you know, um, not to have too much of a problem with the cold situation. Uh, eat a lot, like give your energy, uh, you know, fuel to consume when facing the cold and also sleep a lot and it's like, it's stupid but it's, it's important, <laughs> I guess. And uh, also don't go outside too much. Uh, for me, I was really a bit annoyed that they say that because I, as I said, I love walking. And also Finland is a beautiful country, so I was really happy to go walking outside here. But like the the, the doctor was really like, but like everyone here told me like at some point you just have to stop going outside as much as you can, just because it's not it's not clever to go out. <laughs> it's just not smart to do it. So that's my experience overall about how it is to face a like Scandinavian winter, I guess. To be honest, I was super surprised of the power of these things on me. I didn't think that I would feel so sick and like so, you know, put down by the conditions here. But it's actually, it's like, it's like a real thing and I was very surprised by that. But nonetheless, I'm still loving my time in Finland now that I've, now that I've have come to a solution to like cope with these things. It's a lot easier. So yeah. If, and as I said, Finnish people here are really super nice, so if you ever have a problem, just like talk to them. Like as soon as I started talking to my friends about like how I felt really like energy less and stuff, they were like, just switch the lights on when you're home. They showed me the place where I could find a, like a artificial sunlight and stuff. So everyone's really nice, so if you have any problems, just ask, ask the Finns and everything will be good. So this is the end of the video. I hope you liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you next week with the new travel and fashion videos. Until then, have fun, guys.